Hi guys, and welcome to the Adventure Bite. Today we are gonna be making one of my favorite drinks, pina coladas. This is something that we've been wanting to make because everybody's been trapped at home. We haven't gotten to go on vacation. It's been a pandemic. So this is one way to really easily bring summer, bring vacation right to your house. So these are so, so easy to make, but there are a couple of things that make it really, really like kind of pop. So we're gonna kind of walk through that. So first of all, the biggest variable here with the pina colada is what kind of milk that you use. Um, so you can use coconut cream. This is what a lot of people will grab from the store. So it says coconut cream on there. That's what a lot of people get. They make a pina colada with it and they're like, this doesn't taste anything like what it is that I was imagining. And that is because this is not what most people are referring to in their recipe. They're actually referring to this, which is cream of coconut. Very slight difference, very big difference in the ingredient. So this um, Coco Lopez is going to be the best type of it that we found. This is the classic one that you would go to. You can find this just about anywhere now. Walmart, Kroger, um, lots of different places stock this. You can also get it on Amazon if you can't get it locally. Another one that is pretty common to find is the squeeze one. It's called Gourmet Cream of Coconut. This we have found is very, very sweet. So you might find some other variations and you'll just have to kind of play with exactly which sweetness level you get with what you uh, can find. Now, if you can't find any of these and maybe you live somewhere where you just can't get a lot of you know, exotic ingredients, you can make this with sweetened condensed milk. It's not gonna taste exactly the same. It's gonna lack a lot of that coconut flavor, but it is a way to get this if you're in a pinch and you can't find anything else here. So that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. So the first thing we're gonna do is start with our pineapple juice. And I like these little teeny cans. It's nice because if you're just making a couple of these, you don't have to open a full bottle, but if you're making it for a big party, then you can definitely go with a bigger container. You're gonna fill this up, so two ounces of pineapple juice, just like that. And we're gonna do two ounces, oh, there's my rum, of white rum. This is my recommendation for these. You can use a darker rum or a spiced rum. I don't think it has quite the same flavor profile. It really adds a different twist to it. And it's a little bit too spicy for me to go with like a spiced rum. So I either go with a white rum or a vodka. So just keep it really clean. You don't really wanna taste the alcohol in this. And one and a half ounces to two ounces. We're gonna go with two ounces today. Put that in there. Okay, and then whatever um, cream topping, coconut cream that you like. This is our favorite. So that's what we're gonna use today. Up. Now, this does tend to um, it does tend to separate. So at the top, you'll see it's really, really thick like that. And you wanna kind of get down underneath there. There is some liquid down under there and you wanna kind of blend this up a little bit. So we're just gonna get in here and work this around. And the big thing is if you just try to scoop the top part out, you're gonna have a hard time measuring it in a liquid measuring cup because it's it's more like coconut oil um, in consistency. And this, you can see, it has a lot of texture to it. It's uh, definitely chunkier. Things like this one, um, this is really very, very sweet. It tastes more like coconut frosting, like really thin. You, I imagine you could like drizzle it over things and that would be pretty delicious. So we like this one because it's got a little bit more kind of oomph to it, texture to it. Okay, so you can see we've gotten it to a somewhat stirrable consistency here. So we're just gonna measure to the top of there. Okay, there we go. Shake that out. And then we're gonna get some pineapple. So half a cup of frozen pineapple. You can do this yourself, you can cut up a full pineapple, put it in a bag, freeze it for three hours. Um, that sounds like a lot of work to me personally. I'm trying to relax when I drink one of these. So I just buy bagged frozen pineapple. Uh, you could also get pre-cut pineapple like this and throw it in the freezer if you wanted to do that. They, you know, there's differences of, of opinions. If pineapples are super ripe, 
and you wanna get them very, very sweet, you can get a little bit more flavor that way. I don't personally find the extra effort worth it, but if you wanna be super purist, I suppose you could. I've got three kids. I'm not sure I have time to be a purist anymore. Uh, so three scoops here. This is a half cup scoop. So one and a half cups of ice, just like that. You don't have to be too exact. And then we're gonna blend this up and start it out a little bit lower and then let it get going for a while and then you can turn it up so that you don't uh, blow. Sounds pretty good. So then we're gonna garnish it. So you can just garnish with a slice of frozen pineapple like this. You can garnish with um, some of this fresh pineapple, which is what we're gonna do today. You can just take this, get this out of the way so you guys can see, and just a little bit of these. And then just put a slice down the center so it can go on the glass. You can also put a lime wedge on it. Some people like the acidity in there. It's also just a pretty way to add a little bit of color on there. Let's so get that there. And let's grab a glass. Oh, it's gonna be so fun. Okay. So here we go. You might need a spoon too. They do tend to Dick, so let's get that there. Oh my gosh, this smells so amazing. It's coconutty and pineapple-y. Yum, oh my God, look at that. Okay, and then to garnish, we're gonna top with a little maraschino cherry. Grab our little pineapple slice our little lime wedge here. Let's see, did I actually get a little cut in there? Get a little smaller, just like that. A little straw. I know this is maybe a little excessive, but come on. It's pretty and it's fun and we're trapped at home, so let's do something fun for ourselves. All right, there we have it. Let's take a taste. Oh my gosh, so good. This is easily my favorite. We tasted so many different ones with all the different kinds of coconut cream. And this one is just, it's super rich. It's super coconutty. The pineapple ratio is perfect. It's icy. It's just fantastic. So make some of these. You can easily double or triple the recipe if you have a crowd of people who you wanna do this. You can make this up and take it down to the river, down to the pool, mm. or you can just eat them all yourself. So there you go. All right, guys. Cheers.